Mary Meat Witches is Greybeard Crow Father, and tonight I'm going to start off by saying it is Veterans Day, so thank you to any veterans that are or have served in the past. We thank you for your service, and also thank you to anybody that is actually still in the military and still serving. We appreciate your service. Tonight's topic is going to be spells and how to prepare and cast them. I do apologize. I am a little bit run down tonight. I'm not sick. I'm just, you know, tired. It's been a long day, so we'll get through this. So, preparing for magic and spells. Make sure that you have all your physical objects that you may need to manifest this spell handy and ready to go. In addition to your physical objects, you're going to make sure, you're going to want to make sure that you have your intent ready. And the more intent you can put into this spell, the better the results will be. So what I tend to do is I will actually write the spell first so that I can either recite it from the paper that I have on hand, or if I have enough time, I will actually commit that spell to memory. Either or should work just fine for you, but make sure you have it written down so that you're not, you know, you know, making a boo-boo when you're trying to read it or recite it from memory. Um, one of the things that's in the Wiccan read when it comes to writing spells is a line that states, to bind the spell every time, let the spell be spake in rhyme. As you're writing your spell, try to actually get it to rhyme. Um, try to pinpoint what you're going to try to actually attempt to have this spell do. And if you're writing it, but you get stuck, you can always go out to the internet and find words that you know, rhyme for you so that you can get it down as you need it to work for you. Um, also, you're going to want to do some research on some of the objects that you're going to be using that's in regards to the spell. You want to make sure you have, if you're going to use a crystal, that you have the correct crystal that's in relation to the spell. If you're going to use a candle, you're going to want to make sure that you have the correct candle. And if you're going to use some herbs, you're going to want to make sure that you have the correct herbs that are in relation to the spell. So what I've done is I've written a simple spell tonight that would be something that I would cast, say, if I wanted to have like a clairvoyant dream, you know, get some foreknowledge of, you know, something that I'm kind of looking for and uh, have it manifest in um, a dream that I have that night. So when I decided to do this, I looked up, let's see, okay, so for dreaming, an amethyst is good as far as manifesting uh, dreams. And also as far as an herb, I found that you know, valerian or mugwort has also been used in regards to magic and spells for dreaming. So I would uh, put all this together and then I would actually set my intent of what I want to do and have, you know, manifest for this spell. I would take the, I would take, I would get a sachet and I would put the amethyst in a sachet, in the sachet, and then I would actually sprinkle the mugwort or valerian over the uh, amethyst in the sachet, and then I would draw it tight. And then, at that point, I would uh, light a candle. I'm, you know, really partial to lighting candles while I'm doing spells. And then I would speak the spell that I would wrote. So, as an example, I wrote this. Um, while holding your sachet in your hand and the candle's lit, close your eyes, um, unless you're reading it from the paper like I'm going to be doing because I just wrote this like 10 minutes ago. Lady and Lord, I call to thee, grant me your sight to help set me free. 
As I lay down to rest, this night I ask to be blessed. While I dream during this night's sleep, some prior knowledge I wish to reap. In the morn, when I arise, that knowledge will not have left my eyes. So mote it be. And then I would either let the candle burn for a little bit longer, or if I don't feel that I need to let it burn any longer, I would use a candle snuffer and put that candle out. <clears throat> that night, I would go to bed and I would take that sachet and slide it under my pillow and then go to sleep. And if the goddess and God were kind enough to hear my spell, which is another form of a prayer, when I wake up in the morning, I'll have gained some foreknowledge of what I may be looking for for that day. Now, all the um, spells that you're going to do are going to depend on different situations. Remember, in Wicca, we have the rule of three. Not everybody adheres to it. You don't have to. It's more of a guideline anything. But if you're planning on causing harm to someone by, you know, creating and doing a spell, just remember that spell is going to come back to you threefold. So be careful what you do. You don't want to end up having someone, you know, rob you because you wrote a spell and you wanted them to have, get robbed or something like that. Just be you know, cognizant of what you're doing, what you're writing, and you'll be fine. <clears throat> so, in review, gather all your materials you may need, write your spell, perform your spell, and hopefully you'll have what you're um, looking to have uh, manifest, manifest for you. I am... Definitely going to tell you again that if you can write your own spells, they work better than any ones you're going to find out on the internet because you're lending your intent and your power to that spell. <clears throat> that was really all that I had for you tonight. Hopefully, um, you'll be able to, as your homework, write your own spell to, between tonight and, let's see, Friday, because I'll be doing a video on Friday, too. And what I'd like to um, get from everybody that is watching this video is if you actually did write, create, and perform, perform your own spell, let me know in the comments how it worked out for you and did it manifest? Uh, my second request tonight is um, for this video, I'd also like to consider it kind of like a, a QA session. So if you have, sorry, I have a cat here, another one. <laughs> if you have any questions that you would like answered, feel free to post them in the comments. And if you would like, I will answer them publicly for you. If you need me to send you a, um, you know, private message to answer it for you, I will gladly do so. So, homework, write and perform a spell. And please, if you have any questions, ask away. Hope everybody is staying safe and healthy. This is Greybeard Crowfather signing off. Blessed be, everyone.